Into Misery's Peak we go. Hmm. Oh no, not these guys again. You're here. Come. There isn't much time. You know what's really funny is you can you can get these guys all talking at the same time. Oi, you haven't Agent gotten into any more shipwrecks, have you? Dragon still combating evil. Oi, you haven't gotten into any more shipwrecks, have you? Still combating evil. How annoying is that, right? Be careful. I won't be able to protect you this time. Hmm, it's funny that she's the last one talking because she's so talkative to begin with. You will be the left hand that inserts the dagger into the mind player's back, metaphorically speaking. Of course. Right hand, speak plainly, old man. Uh, listen, without the dragon and the cult, the Zhogun are no more dangerous than they have ever have been, and in time we will be able to drive them back into the sea. Well, you know, I keep telling these guys, the Zhogun aren't that tough. They, they can hardly hit. So basically, there's a big piles. Well, they have some hit points, but... They can't hit you. They can't, like, kill you. I mean, I'm only level 2 and they're really not any threat. You can't fight 4 or 5 of them at a time by myself. So we got the whole village together. We could just slay them all, put them on ice, and then sell them. Because we have all this snow and ice. And then we could make a huge profit off the... You know, like a, it's like a big fish boom industry, you know? And we could sell it all. We could, you know, because the ice, we can transport this stuff all over uh, Stormreach and Eberron. Anyway. So we basically have to go destroy a quarry artifact so that we can release uh, the dragon from its control. Selimus, ready your party. I'll weaken the barrier for you. Ready! Okay. Now technically I would probably use Dryad, but uh... Now to clear your path. Well, we'll use her. Hey, get her money's worth out of it, I guess. For you. Now to find this quarry mine sunder artifact. Oh, I have to be closer Go to the entrance. Go quickly! Oh. I will mask your presence from the mind flare. <clears throat> it's one of the things about these regular hirelings. You have to be right near the entrance to do it. Oh, bless! Bless me! Oh, good job! All right. Hmm. I think we'll summon that dog if we need it too. That one cookie. Oh, it's covered up by the this one here, the red cookie, Devani one. Oh, that's the guy I want right there. This is a actually a rather long quest. It's just a lot of running around killing stuff. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> Trying to always get that caster first, you know. Get this guy next. Good so far. I chipped a zombie. It used to be the female elf zombies. Uh, if you tripped them, they would just get back and fall back down, get back up, fall back down, and just keep doing that over and over again while they were tripped. It was hilarious. It was something that I wish they never changed in the game because it was just so much fun. It was only those zombies, like none of the other ones would do it. I would go out of my way just to trip them and, you know, have all the elf uh, female. It was the elf female ones, the uh, zombies only, I think, uh, they worked on. So you'd have like three or four of those 
elf female zombies tripping Several and falling down over and over again the while you kill everything else. Their putrid forms are frozen in contorted poses. Their faces set in silent eternal screams. I saw Gollum over here. Where does he go? Hey. It's all white. Meat. Uh oh, I saw that. Okay, so we have the to get that door, door open. Is locked by a pair of signal crystals. Hopefully, the control mechanisms are in this cavern somewhere. So we need to go up here and find the signal crystals. Now this is where it gets kind of crazy because you know you just have to keep going up. You can see that strange apparatus up there with all the runes on it. So. That's another one off. You see it shooting up there. What this is doing is it's opening, it's opening up doors up above. And we go over here next. There's a way to do this where you basically just have to go one, like one way, one direction the whole way up, and uh, you can get everything. I'm hoping I'm doing it right. It's been a while. Otherwise, you kind of have to run around when you get up and down these like ledges, and you gotta go halfway up and halfway down, halfway back up. There's a few quests. Not this one's not that bad, but there's a few quests in the game that are like this, where you have to do a lot of running up and down slopes like this. Like you, know, you gain elevation or floors or whatever you want to call it. Oh boy. Nancy Spider there. She needs to heal herself. Docent of Vitality. It's not Warforge. That stuff shouldn't even be in my uh my loot list. I shouldn't even drop. <clears throat> Okay, so we came up this way. I have a feeling we had to go back down this way and over this one. Oh no, see that one's closed. Alright, no, we're going. We gotta go this way then. We have to open up that uh that, that portal, a door or whatever that's force field. You can't go that way either. Okay. Okay. 
Now we got it. Yeah, I messed it up right off the bat. <clears throat> I think the way to do it is to... Uh, you have to hit this one down here first. And then run back over here, I think. And go up this one. Yeah, it seems more like it. A few attacks there, just swinging and not doing anything. Oh no, there's that warning thing again. Well, I do need it, so it's just that it's really kind of silly. Things broken, only one thing came out of it. Okay. All right, now we've got this one on. Now we're on the right track. Now we just go straight up from here. Oh, yeah, might as well have her cast this again. That shrine is. We don't really need it. Though. There's a lot of shrines in this bus. It's probably like four or five of them, I think. Paralysis removal. Oh, see, that's just so annoying. You have, to, you have to actually interact with that UI like that. I mean, the other starter potions didn't do that. There's the other lever we need. Now we got them both. With the second signal crystal activated, you hear the stone door at the base of the cavern rolling open. Yeah, I think we did everything. We got the optional guy and you know. Alright, so down below us, we're gonna map here. Down below us is that door. So what we have is feather fall. And, uh, I'll have her teleport to us basically. There you go. Marrow from your bones. Probably use the next shrine we come across just to get our expeditious retreats back. Some 
epic numbers here. Seven three points and seven points of slash damage. <clears throat> Whoa. Chills run down your spine as you finally come face to face with a dragon that has been terrorizing Korgos. Even at rest, it is a truly awesome beast. The door at the rear of the cavern pops open. <laughs> Cultists attracted by the roar of combat rush out to confront you. An arrow stuck stuck in the uh, in the air. They're like floating there. An invisible wall or something. ran out. <clears throat> that trip is actually not bad for somebody who doesn't have any... <laughs> I don't know if it's based on uh, Dexter's strength, but if it's based on strength, it's, uh, I'm doing pretty good with it. I think it's both. It's uh, either one is higher. <clears throat> No, DC 10 plus strength mod. So we'll go use the shrine real quick. <clears throat> All right, and then we'll have her cast her buffs on us. The switch is nearby and not too well. Ooh, 27. That was definitely her, not me. I don't think I ever did 27 points of damage yet. There's that lever. The ground quavers, and you look down to see a tunnel beneath the ice. The dragon roars as it thunders after Selimas and Oh, I can see the dragon the faintly through the ice. Working. Ooh, I'm walking on top of a dragon. That's pretty cool. Another heavy door bars the way out. Once again, signal crystals are set into the wall. Oh, DM, you just want me to pull all the signal crystals in the world, don't you? You like how I always go for that caster? It's like it's the red shirt, man. The red shirt's got to go down first, right?
A signal crystal glows with power as you engage the first control lever. But where is the second? I think my hireling has got more kills than I do. <clears throat> you actually can see that in the XP report. It'll tell you breakables and kills. Like, oh, she's got 34. She's doing pretty good. I was thinking I was going to need the level 2 ones just to a little better shot at this, but uh, the higher difficulties, there's cultists inside these rooms, or used to be at least. You feel fresh frozen air gust in from the newly opened door below. <clears throat> oh no, I'm not gonna make that jump. <laughs> I was gonna try to jump over there and make it faster, but oh. Sorry, she's got plenty of spell points. Oh, you know what? Oh, I didn't even try to climb up that thing. I just it like lagged me, and I one minute I'm staying next to it, the next minute I'm on it. I'm like I wasn't even trying to push that direction. Wasted my expeditious retreat, Clicky. She's getting all the aggro. I'm getting sneak attack damage. Great. Creature, they have summoned an evil outsider. Yeah, these are oh, no, pull this up fast enough. Evil outsider, demon. It's the first one of those you ever encounter, I think, in the game. Oh boy. Don't worry, I'll just shield bash them all. Interlopers. these little platforms switches that you have to use there's a few of them <clears throat> oh my gosh that's so annoying because that's in the middle of combat while that happens and the last thing you want to do is like click a 
you know, manually target a yes button or something in the middle of fights to, to accept an item. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't pick those up because you can just buy them, but I don't have any plat on this server, so you, know, you can buy better potions for characters, but oh well. I need every potion I can get, so... Waves of psychic energy pound into you as you spot a green crystal on the ledge ahead. At last, this must be the quarry mine sunder. I should turn her on attack mode so she can attack. The mind flayer and dragon are locked in a contest of wills. This could be your chance okay. to destroy the mine sunder. Dryad, you're awesome. The mind flayer shrieks as it loses the mind sunder's power. The dragon reasserts its will and looks very annoyed. <laughs> That's awesome. He's like laughing. <laughs> Follow me. Hayton wants a word with you. Oh, she got locked up. Sorry, Dryad. Well struck. I wish we dispatched the dragon. To Next time, the he's beyond the dragon, and I'll wait for Well crystal. struck. It will I wish take we dispatched the dragon. I love doing that. <laughs> that was annoying, though. Alright. You are a wonder, Chagi. To be truthful, I did not actually think this plan would work. I was ready to die in a blaze of glory. Well, there's not really a blaze so much down here. being more like a frozen icicle of glory. Uh, yes. We won. I wonder what will challenge me now that I've faced a dragon. I've faced a lot of them in Skyrim, so it's not that big a deal. Ha! Well, don't worry. There's always a bigger evil beyond the horizon. In fact, speak with Rinar de Thorani if you truly fancy any adventure or an adventure. He's at the village pier, and he will take you to Stormreach. You'll find plenty of evil there. Ha ha! I'll seek him out at the Kothos docks. Thank you, and farewell, Lars Hayton. Here, take this portal, so you won't have to walk that's back. A, that's a dimension door, basically, but that's what they look like, at least, the bee doors. Alrighty, let's get out of here. And like magic, the snows stopped. Savior of Kothos, they cheer as you return. But destiny has greater plans for you than just this small village. Hmm. What's this? You say the dragon is gone? Brilliant, glorious. I commend you for your valiant effort. Please do take something from my personal collection as a reward. <clears throat> All right. So we had the uh, double check. We had the pathfinder. Oh wait, right there. Troubleshooter. Troubleshooter. Oh, see, if we get that, we get plus three to all of our rogue skills, which will be good for a few levels, you know. Um, <clears throat> where if we take that, we get the mnemonic aid, which gives us spell points back. And honestly, in the long term, this is a more valuable item for survival ability. And this, these goggles do give us plus three to three, three different skills, so I think we're going to go with this. And it might seem silly to do that, but um, I think it's the best way to go. It gives us 20 more spell points, too. So we'll put that, say, here for now. <clears throat> That's an enhancement bonus of spell points, and that is... It just says it increases your spell points. I don't know if it's enhancement or not. Um... I'll put that in the last page. I'll sell that. You can always keep those. I'll sell that. Paralysis removal. Yeah. 
sure if I want to keep that or not. Go through some of these items here. I will probably sell. We have a lot of inventory here. Do track though, so. And this here is going to ask us still at this able device on so we can still use that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and restart this. Or. Okay. I guess you have to run all. You have to run that <clears throat> hate and quest again with from her. Get flagged for misery speak again, or, or run misery speak again, just straight up. But anyway, we need to repair and check some other things, and uh, then get. I think we're gonna hit the bank and make some room for some things as well. We're getting there. Four and ten platinum. We might actually be able to buy some stuff from the vendors in the marketplace too. All right. Well, the next thing we'll be doing. Is it, he said Valeria, right? Valeria. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is head off over to uh, the uh, harbor. We'll start doing some of the quests there. We got some mail, so we must get some favor. So, yeah, we've got a few things to check out over there, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time.